Have you ever heard of Papa al Pomodoro or Italian tomato bread soup? It is rich, delicious, and takes only a few pantry ingredients. This is considered a Tuscan peasant dish, and what I love about this soup is that it actually is meant to use day-old bread, stale bread, and tomato. So we're gonna start with our day-old bread, and if yours, like mine here, is not hard enough, what you wanna do is start by toasting it. So I actually cut it up into pieces here, or you can tear it up, it doesn't really matter. So we're gonna go in with the bread pieces about, you know, you can cut them into one inch cubes, or you can tear them up, and you just wanna make sure that it is truly hard and dry because you don't want it to get too, too mushy in your soup. A little bit of olive oil never hurt anybody, unless your bread is already nice and crusty and hard. Going in under the broiler very quick. Okay, ooh, yeah. Honestly, it's never a bad idea to get some more color and a little flavor from the olive oil on your bread. Super few ingredients involved in this recipe, but it will surprise your taste buds in the best way possible. A drizzle of some good Italian extra virgin olive oil. I'm using our Nacciolata Italian extra virgin olive oil from the mediterraneandish.com right here and it's good stuff and you want it for the soup i want medium heat i don't want the oil too hot and i'm going to kind of cook up my onions and my garlic with a little bit of red pepper flakes so we're going to start with the red pepper flakes right here i want to see the peppers kind of pop can the peppers pop sort of yes starting to see some activity with my peppers here. I don't want my oil too hot because I don't want a ton of color on my garlic. So we have some sliced garlic right here. Then we have some onion, very finely chopped. And we're gonna cook them down, medium-ish heat for about 10 to 15 minutes at this point. So just gentle heat kind of tossing them around and all you need is for them to kind of just open up and have just a tad bit of color like a golden light golden brown i first learned about this soup from my girl christina who works for us here at the mediterranean dish she did a study abroad in siena and that's where she had this soup and she said it was her absolute favorite thing so when she was describing it to me i'm like we have got to try this and I made it before and I can't wait to make it again. I think the onion is looking good and the garlic. So next comes our tomatoes. We're using one 28 ounce can of good San Marzano tomatoes. So they're whole peeled tomatoes and you're gonna wanna crush them into the soup by hand. Yes, nonna style. Turn my heat down some more. I'm gonna grab the tomatoes and you're gonna crush them. I said, boop, I said nonna style, right? So just like, but watch yourself. I washed my hand, don't worry. I'm making a bit of a mess, but it's quite fun actually. You're basically just breaking up the tomatoes by hand. If that's not your jam, it's absolutely fine. Crush them some other way. San Marzano tomatoes are a little bit sweeter than other tomatoes, which is why we like using them in this recipe. And now what we have left in the can is basically juice, so we're going in. Italian nonnas are legendary. They know how to come up with recipes that use what you have on hand, that are absolutely delicious and made from simple ingredients. I mean, come on, a can of tomatoes, some olive oil, just a few flavor makers and they all bread. Can't get any better than this. Whenever I open a can and like, you can't get all the sauce out. Just add a little bit of water. You don't wanna waste it. Go ahead and add that too, see? A few sprigs of fresh basil, very essential for this recipe. And yes, it goes in right now, and you can also garnish with it at the end. Flavor in every bite. Give it a stir, and then let's bring it to a simmer, and then we're gonna add some broth. Now we have about, oh, two and a half, three cups of broth. Vegetable broth is fine. Bring this party to a bubble. And we're adding in our bread as well. 
We're going to go in with the bread. Yes, you are pretty much going to dunk this bread in the soup. It's all going to cook together. The bread will give it more of a stewy, thicker texture. I'm going to leave a little bit of the bread to kind of garnish with. I mean, like I said, when I made it the first time, I was in awe of how delicious and comforting with just such simple ingredients. So we're lowering the heat here and we're just stirring and we're going to let this entire thing simmer gentle heat for a good 20 minutes or so the bread's gonna soak up a lot of the juices so you're gonna want to keep an eye and add a little bit of broth as needed oh my goodness this is turning out beautifully the most important thing about this recipe is the texture the bread has now soaked up a lot of the liquid and it should be super soft it should almost dissolve in such a way that it turns the soup into a stewy or more porridge-like situation. You're gonna keep adding a little bit of liquid as needed just because you still want some liquid in it. You don't want to just be eating bread, keeping a nice gentle bubble. Okay, this is the consistency I'm looking for. It's pretty stewy looking. If you want it to be a little more soupy, you can add a little bit more um, broth to it but I love it this way so we're gonna go ahead and finish it up six ingredients you have in your pantry you can make this delicious tomato and bread soup amazing this is the moment of truth this is my girl Christina I told you about Hi, people. she's the one who introduced me to this amazing recipe because yes. you had it in Siena in 2019 I was studying abroad in Italy and, and it was my favorite thing I had there you did tell me that, and I was like, what? Like a soup She's wasn't skeptical. made of, yeah. you know, but let's see if I did it. That's it. Yeah, you give it a try. I hope it's good. It's really good. Is it? Yeah. Is really it how you good. remember it, though? It is. You nailed it. Oh my gosh, it's so you exciting. Really it's delicious. Mm. <laughs> oh my gosh. I told you. So good. Oh, I missed. Let's try again. Did you guys know this is not the only Italian bread soup that exists that is absolutely delicious? We also have one more called Ribolita right here on the channel. You must check that out. It is absolutely gorgeous. Find the recipe for Papa al Pomodoro or Italian tomato bread soup over on themediterraneandish.com. I will see you later. Ciao.